Welcome back to some Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling. Shall we see what's going on on our very lovely island of Horn Hollow today? And what other miraculous ways we'll try and decorate it? <laughs> or, well, to be perfectly honest, it's basically just me selling the flower infestation that we seem to have accumulated over 200 <laughs> or so days. So yeah, it's another exciting of Dear Darling talks about random nonsense for half an hour. <laughs> um, I guess we will see our guests today. Today is Friday, right? So hopefully Red's a visitor, but he hasn't visited for a while. So hello for everyone. Right now in Fawn Hollow, it's 4.41 on Friday, October 16, 2020. No breaking news today. Is it just me or did this week fly by? I think this whole year fly by, to be honest. Flew by? Flew by. Yeah. I was like, fly by doesn't make sense, does it? Probably the fastest, slowest year I've ever felt. And if that isn't the mood, I don't know what is. All right. What have we got? Audi. You like furniture this weekend? Oh my gosh, I bought this furniture because it was totally glam. And then I realized I had no room for it. You want it? Furniturely yours, Audi. I don't think you use furniture like that. Hold on. Our mailbox is full. We need to like get rid of some of these things. Um, I guess we can get rid of a lot of these ones. Because what do we need them for? They are in the way. Uh, throw away. We can throw away any Gulliver ones. Um... Do we need to throw away any of these Happy Home Academy ones? Nook mileage program? Get out of here. Why do we have to open it to throw away? Because obviously I do not want... Uh, hold on. That's one of the first ones. We, we, we can't we can't throw away these milestone ones. We can throw away Flick's ones. I'm sorry, Flick. Um, okay, we can throw away these. We don't... No, excuse me. Alright, that's good, that's good enough for now. Just to make sure we got enough um, mailbox room, should we need, is red here? I knew it. It's red. Also, it's someone's birthday at some point, isn't it? October 22nd. Silvana's birthday. I think that's it. <laughs> I actually closed out before I read it, so I don't know why I did that. Um, oh, you know, no, no, no. You know what? We can use our very special... I don't know why that sounds so weird. Very special secret um, route to Crazy Red. Oh, wow, it feels so weird seeing how empty this land is now. <laughs> you can see the parts which are under construction by the fact there's nothing there. I still don't really know what I'm going to do with the other corners. I, uh, to be honest, I only plan, sort of planned out this area with the rivers, but I don't really know what I'm doing for the rest of it. So it's a surprise to you and me. A lot of weeds over here. You know, honestly, it kind of fits the situation. So I'll hop in here as I open up a New Horizons wiki art. So try and remember which ones we do. Which ones we need. It depends if we even got any, which... If we even have a choice. You know, because sometimes not all of them are um, non-duplicates. So this is uh, the Mona Lisa. I'm pretty sure that's a fake one. I'm looking at it. It's got very angry eyebrows, which is indicative of a fake one. Um, what else do we have? We have a Finker, we have a little Soldier Boy, and Starry Night. Let's see. This one's always authentic, okay? Noted. I don't think we have this one. Uh, I will have to check, to be honest. This one's always authentic. Oh my god, we have two authentic ones. This one's always authentic. We have three authentic ones in here. Alright, maybe maybe it's time for me to bug some of my friends to get online on New Horizons and get some of this. Get some of these museum appliances for me. Museum appliances? That's not really a word. You know what I mean, like, works of art. Um, so I'm gonna, we'll, I'll have a quick run to the museum. To, ooh! I accidentally hit enter there and I, I was very worried I stopped recording for a second. Uh, we'll have a run to our museum and see which ones we need. And then after that we will be... I don't know what we'll be doing. I think we'll be clearing the flowers off to the right. <laughs> and then we'll be... And then eventually we'll move the trees and then eventually we'll flatten that all out. And then eventually we'll start actually building stuff over there. We're working from the back forward I suppose. Just to sort of see how much room we got. We also need to destroy all the bridges and ramps. It's a bit inconvenient of course but you know... To get around, that's how it goes. So what should I talk about today? I don't really know. I can talk about the fact that I'm holding a, a big plush polar bear in my, my arms. His name's Kevin, lovingly named by Benedict. Um, He was a... I think he was a plush that, like, my aunt... No, my aunt's sister had or something. And then they're helping clearing out stuff. My, my parents helping them, like, clear out stuff. And they're like, oh, dear really likes plushies. She'll probably like this. And then she grabbed it, and you know, I do like it. But, but what? Oh, we don't have any of them. Wow. 
Okay, well, um, I will have to make a note to myself. I'm gonna be like, note to self, need you to buy a painting slash statue on AC. There we go. <laughs> I made a note to myself, to Benedict. That's exactly what we'll do. Hmm. What did Audi give us? A cute war mountain clock. Oh, mini pause. We're back. Um, what was I talking about? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh no, about Kevin here. Yeah, um, he's been cleaned up, and we're like, here we go. Here's a here's a big pearl of air plush. Well, not that big. More like more like. Let's see. How tall are you, Kevin? You know, I got I got a ruler. I can measure you. Hold on. <laughs> we can get your exact height. Where is my ruler? Oh, there it is. Let's see. You are just over thirty centimeters tall. So just over twelve inches tall. So you know, pretty nice, pretty big. Which one of these should we buy? I think Starry Night. Let's buy Starry Night. You got yourself a deal, Red. Thank you very much. Hopefully we'll get the others um, from my friends at some point. <laughs> if not, oh well. Always well, that ends well. Yeah, and then had this, had this, had this Kevin for a while. He didn't have a name originally. I, I do like to name my plushies, you know. It feels like fun. And um, sorry, I need, I need to find something mindless to do so I can actually talk about this. I think we 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 uh, just. Oh, what do you think about Fuchsia? Hate it, hate say it, but I'm not feeling too stoked right now. I ain't even psyched. See, there's this thing I got my heart set on, but I have a bells for it right now, you know. I want it so bad, I might even sell my quilted jacket. I don't know, though. For how much? Wait, you'd like to buy for me? Uh, sure. Well, I mean, that's kind of higher, but still. <laughs> we'll take it. I mean, not literally far as I know, your heart's normal size. As far as I know, my heart's also normal size. Anyway, not the point. What was the point? I don't remember. <laughs> and then, one day... Benedict came around. I can't remember why he came around. Why did he come around? Actually, we shouldn't be clearing this stuff up first. We should be clearing up the, the stuff around Vivian's house first. Because we want to uh, raise all that up a level first. So we need to get rid of all these flowers and all these paths. Which is going to be a lot. A lot of decorations gone from your place, Vivian. I'm very sorry to say. But yeah, um... Yeah, then Benedict came around, and I was like, oh, why don't you name him Benedict, you know? And he was like, uh, Kevin. I was like, Kevin? He was like, alright, Kevin it is. So there we go, Kevin the Polar Bear. A mini mascot of sorts. I don't know, I really like plushies. I have tons of plushies, every time we go to Japan as well. Which is, you know, I've been twice, so <laughs> not that many times. But <laughs> Japan has, like, the greatest collection of plushies, you know, even though. Because, you know, in Japanese culture, cute stuff, much more... Much more, um, has a much wider appeal, I suppose. Over there. So when it's like, oh, look at all these cute things you can buy, and I've got, got like a mini bookshelf behind me where instead of having books like a regular person, I have um, a load of plushies sitting on there. Including, oh my god, I actually forgot about this. There's um, a line of plushies in Japan because, you know, Japan's good at making plushies and all that. I can't remember the name. I mean, if I plush is over there, I could just go pick her up and see what it is. But it's a rabbit with really long ears. But um, apparently, as I found out, uh, there had been doing some drama over it recently where... Um, right, I, don't, I don't know how to get context because I'm also not that knowledgeable on this area, so I might just be spreading lies. But um, there's, there's someone... The, the creator of a brand called Gloomy Bear which is basically a kind of psychotic bear which sort of um, murders humans. <laughs> it's basically, it's sort of a combination of cute and horror-esque at the same time, which, you know, appeals to me quite a lot, so I quite like it. He's also got um, another series of plush, I suppose, um, headlined by this rabbit whose name I really can't remember right now. 
You know, I'm gonna Google it because it'll probably come up. It'll be, hold on, Gloomy Bear Rabbit. Gloomy Rabbit. It's not called Gloomy Rabbit. General Purpose Rabbit. That's it. Um. Oh my God. I actually just can't dig. Um. Oh my God. Joy Con Drift. <laughs> that that one was Joy Con Drift. That one was not me. Um. But the point of rabbit is they have very very long ears. So long that they can. You know. You know that old song. Do your ears hang low? Do they so not do the throw? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Uh, she can tie them in both a knot and a bow. That's how long we are. Like, longer in our body. But anyway, you know, it's um, a well-known, popular plush line, I suppose. Merch line? Maybe not merch line. Franchise. That's probably a better word for it. And, um, yeah, pretty popular beast, you know, things go for a lot. And then, apparently, like, some TikTok user or TikTok person, I don't know, person who uses TikTok. <laughs> TikToker. <laughs> uh, got like a, got one as a gift or something, or went to Japan and got one. Oh my god, a Halloween arch. And then, they were like, oh, this is pretty cool. But the thing is, uh, each of the general purpose rabbits, they have like a little label on them. And the label often, because I supposed to keep them theme or whatever, they have kind of weird, maybe not weird labels, but... Uh, we probably don't need either of these, so we'll just sell them. Um, I'm not sure how to put this, because I don't know it all too well. But they, they have some uh, very interesting labels, like... I don't know what's the one on my one over there. You know what? I'm going to go pick it up for you and find out. And I'll give you an example. She's not got one of those labels, so I don't really know. But anyway, the label on this um, rabbit that the TikTok person had, had basically like someone's wrist tied up using rabbit's ears. So, you know, I'm conscious that um, my audience might be a bit younger, but um, that has interesting connotations, shall we say. <laughs> oh, we can actually sell, sell our other shovel now. So then, is. <laughs> Oh, I just realised I dug myself into a hole of this one. I should probably shouldn't be talking about this on YouTube. Anyway, um, well, if you know what those connotations are, you know, tying someone up, then so be it. But basically, then it attracted the wrong sort of people, I suppose, to the crowd, or people buying plushes. Yeah, that's that's one way to put it. Um, let's favourite this. Replace our old. I don't want to use you anymore. And then there's a lot of controversy over that, basically. And I was like, whoa. I saw it on Hobby Drama. And when I read it, I was like, wow, I own that exact, well, not that exact plush, but that same brand of plush. And it's, she's sitting right there on my bookshelf. So I've kind of messed her up a little bit now. She's sort of like leaning weirdly against the wall. <laughs> she's also wearing one of my hats because I didn't know where else to put it. And it's sort of falling off her head now. It's okay, I'll fix it afterwards. Hello, Raymond. Haven't spoken to you for a while. Uh, what's the latest? I was just thinking about you. And now you're here. Call me Raymond the Summoner. Alright, Raymond the Summoner. Um, yeah, so that was, a, that was interesting. Anyway, Japan's got cool plushes. It's basically what I want to say. Plushes are just neat. I probably have loads and loads. A lot of them in the attic or something, apparently. <clears throat> but Japan's got, like, Korean games called UFO Catchers or whatever. And they're, they're basically much more doable versions of actual crane games that you get in the West. Because rather than being solely determined by um, the grip strength of a claw on the turn you use it on, which is how the claw games work in the West, is that it's like every 20 or so. Well, not necessarily 20, but every so often the claw will actually have enough strength to pick something up. Otherwise, it won't. Otherwise, it'll be too weak. Which apparently you can um, use your advantage if you want to sit there and watch people play a play crane game. For about 100 times, you can figure out the period of time it takes between each person getting a win. I and mean, then you can just time it to go get um, wins in the crane game if you feel like it. Of course, you're probably much better just buying the, the gift itself outright because a lot of those toys in there are very cheap. 
But it's much more fun getting a McQueen game win yourself, you know? Than just buying it. <laughs> you got like a, a little memory to tag along with it. Anyway. The ones in Japan that like UFO catches, they have a little bit more skill to them. A bit more finesse. I mean, some of them are also pretty damn hard as well. But yeah, they're good fun. Like, my favourite one from Japan, which I really wish I got more of, I played that Korean game more, was um this... I don't even know, it's like a cuttlefish? It's a big blobby cuttlefish and it's so soft and so squidgy. And I absolutely love it to bits. And I really wish I got more of them from a Korean game. Because then I could have like a whole army or something of very squishy, soft cuttlefish. Alas, I didn't. I was short-sighted, so, you know, that had to be on my return. I just like plushies, you know? My friends give me plushies or I, I told them. Because I'd imagine I'm kind of hard to buy gifts for. In a lot of cases, because um, I don't really say much about what I like, I suppose. Or what I don't. Hard to read, that sort of thing. Secretive, maybe. And, um, so I'm just like, I'll make it easy for you. If you buy me a plushie, that's like, I'll find it great. If you buy me a plushie for something I like... <laughs> then, you know, that's even, that's fantastic. If you buy me a plushie of something I like and an aesthetic I like, that's like the best gift you can give me. <laughs> like, you can't get much better than that. And it's like, well, what do you like, dear? Well, I like Animal Crossing <laughs> quite a lot. Um, I wonder if we should get rid of these purple flowers. Then. These ones on the beach. I think we probably should. I don't want to put as many things on the beach because it makes it kind of hard to um, dig up kind of this stuff. Excuse me. In the future. So yeah, I don't know. For heavens, heaven knows why you'd ever be in a situation where you'd personally have to give me a gift. But I don't know, if you're one of my friends watching, just give me plushies. I love plushies. And if you wonder what aesthetics I like, I like cute, cute plus horror. Together, creepy cute. Oh, pockets are full. Bear it again. Things I like, you know, Animal Crossing. Beast stars. Oh my god, the Beast star, Beast stars. like, last time we went to Japan, they came out with plushies, like, a week or so after we left, and I was like, no, we didn't get them. I couldn't get them. Or, like, they weren't in, they were, like, demoed. Or, like, announced while we were there. But they weren't released. Until afterwards, so I couldn't get them. Couldn't get my Legosi, Haru, or Louis plushies. No Juno, sadly. Juno's best. Oh my god, Beastars has also ended now, and I'm so sad. <laughs> it's had a good run, you know. All good things must come to an end. I don't even know what song that is. Wait, that sounds so familiar. All good things must come to an end. I don't know, that sounds so familiar, I can't I can't place it. Anyway, not point. That's just loads of plushies. I could have a plushie since when I was very young. A plushie that's even older than me, which is my probably the signature plushie. Sitting there. Actually on my bed, given to me by my older sister. As a gift, I suppose. Because it was ours uh, originally. Let's put these away in storage. Spooky arch, yeah. Do, you, do we have room in our storage? A ten. Yeah, ten. That's all you need. <clears throat> We're going to have to start clearing out storage more and more. Oh! We should, um... Check out Able Sisters for Halloween costumes. Because I forgot to do that. Because we should check more, 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 and more. You know, speaking of twice, like K-pop group. Twice? They're going to be on my next KDA album. Which is the most observed thing I've ever heard. KDA being the virtual... K-pop band made by Riot Games, the creators of League of Legends, and Team Fight Tactics, and Valorant, and Legends of Rune Terror, and um, Wild Rift, I guess. That's just kind of League of Legends again. Um, a vampire costume. Already, already got a vampire costume. Give us something different. Round ear animal hat. Have we got this one? I don't remember. What colour should we get? White, sure. Oh. Those are new as well. I don't remember seeing these. Well, not like new in the patch, more like new that we haven't seen before. 
Alright, we've got more flowers to dig up. And then we got cliffs to level out. And then we got trees to... Oh, you know what? Maybe we should be shaking these trees from pine cones and stuff again. Also, when are we getting mushrooms in this game? Uh, this is too big for us to jump over. Aren't mushrooms gonna start spawning at some point? I could have, could have sworn that was a thing I saw in one of the, the updates. Oh, the fall updates. Oh, you got fleas on you. You don't even, you didn't even notice. You're too busy singing. Fleas, huh? Should have guessed this as soon as I felt the itch. Anyway, good looking out. And I've been in for some itchy nights without you having my back, you know. I guess we'll just release it over here and hopefully they won't strike through into another different animal's hearts. That's a bit dramatic. I don't know, I'm trying to think. Have I ever won a plushie from a claw game in the West, not in Japan? Quite possibly. Quite possibly. I can't really remember. I'd... Oh, you know, we definitely have. Because um, one time, this is, I was very young, I think I must have been seven or something. There was, we went onto like a, a road trip somewhere. Well, road trip, quite quite in words. It's more like we, we drove to <laughs> a holiday destination, probably like a, a car caravan park or something. And then one of the pit stops we had, there was an interesting concept I've never seen before. It was a crane game where it was a winner every single time. What that means is a crane game, you pay once to play it and then you can continue playing it until you finally get a prize. So me and my sister both did that. And I got, I can't remember, I think she got like a small, but they're, they're very tiny, they're like the size of your palm sort of toys. She got a very small pink cat and I got a very small yellow duck. And they were called Cutie and Sweetie, I believe. That was a very nice symmetrical pattern we got going over here from acorns. Maybe we need more pine cones. I can't remember, one of them we got a lot of last time. I don't know how many of these we really need, but what do we stack up to? Hopefully it's like 30 or something. Oh, I thought that was a beehive for a second. I was like, no, sorry, wasp hive. They change them from, from bees to wasps. Probably makes sense. They don't want to give off the impression to kids that bees are bad. Bees are great. Wasps, they're, you know, they're good for pollination or something. And I think they're predator to some pests, maybe. Probably that they're a bit of a nuisance. <laughs> Very angry, stingy things, huh? I guess we could also harvest those pumpkins over and over again, but I can't be bothered. Just let them be. Cause there will be an answer, let him be, let him be. Oh, I guess we should also check if our white lilies or blue roses are duplicated. Duplicated? I don't know why I said that so weirdly. <laughs> come on, come on. Okay. <laughs> um, anyway. What's my point? I don't know. I don't know what any of my points are anymore. <laughs> I don't think I ever did, to be honest. You know, at some point I need to start recording Spirit Fairer because today, wait, Friday? Yeah, today's the day the last episode of Witness goes up. It's going to be sad, Seiko. That, that one, I think, has definitely been the most popular series right now. It's surprising how many people are watching it. But it's come to the end of its run. Because there's not really much left to do in it anymore. And it's weird. Because yesterday, Grim Fandango finished. I was like, whoa. Two of my series are finishing within one day of each other. I would have been very bad if I didn't do the thumbnails way in advance. Oh yeah, and I could actually um publish that Spirit of Error thumbnail at some point. I don't know when I'll do that. Maybe I'll do it a few hours before the actual Spirit of Error videos come up. I haven't recorded those yet. Opus Magnum, I have recorded. Opus Magnum I recorded like three weeks ago or something. You know, I, I can actually see what, what the date was when I recorded them. When I thought I'd be done with Witness, here we are. 14th of September, actually a month ago. <laughs> That's how old we are. Clearly a month ago, I was like, oh, I'm pretty getting pretty close to me under witness now. You know, why don't I just record some Opus Magnum? How wrong I was. I I'd, had I'd eight more episodes apparently left. <laughs> 
I feel like I should talk more about plushies or something. Have I talked about crane games before? I feel like I talked about crane games before. There's no original thoughts anymore. Once you talk about a different topic every day for 200 days, you kind of start running out of topics. I can't believe I haven't talked about plushies before. Have I really not? Yeah, I know. <clears throat> I was just thinking about it because it was my love for plushies because it recently came up in um, that Reddit thread on hobby drama, which was um, in an interesting read. Um, a very interesting read, <laughs> to say the least. I was just more surprised there was like um, a community of people who love to collect plushies. You know, I was like, wow. This is why I should move to Japan. I, I don't want to move to Japan, but wouldn't mind having holidays in Japan. Very nice place. Love how clean it is. Love our plushies. How many sticks have we got? We've probably got tons. 45. What we can do with all these sticks? I don't know. Swim in the river sticks or something. I don't know. Do I have any other interesting plushie stories? I remember when we moved house when I was younger. Before. Um, let me think. Oh, mini boards. Don't mind me. <laughs> what was I talking about? Oh, yes, when we moved. Many, many, many years back. Um, I filled up like um, seven bin bags or something for all the plushies had because back in my old house, old, 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 old house, <laughs> having many odds, um, I had all my plushies out on display and I just put them all on a bed. Not my bed, not the bed I slept in. It was like the old bed I used to sleep in. Until I got a new bed. I'm gonna use my old bed for all the plushies. I filled it up. It was a, it was the grandest display, the biggest plushie flex in history. Not really. I mean, have you seen those world record orders for the number of plushies? You can see them sometimes. You'll be like, <laughs> I don't know why it's, it's so vividly in my mind or something. It's like, person who owns most Mickey Mouse paraphernalia or whatever memorabilia. Is that right? wait? What's paraphernalia? Paraphernalia. That's definitely not the word I wanted. Equipment, okay. Memorabilia, that's what I want, right? Memorabilia, close enough. Memorabilia. Memor memorabilia. <laughs> Most Disney memorabilia, or whatever. And it's just like um, some woman and she's just like lying in a sea of Mickey Mouse plushies. I'm not to that level. Would I be if given a choice? Nah, maybe. <laughs> Not with Mickey Mouse stuff though. I do have quite a lot of Disney plushies though. Because um, I like to go to Disney World in Japan. For the two times we've been there. You know. Of what, what can I say? They, they nail certain aesthetics. Like one time we went in summer and they had good old summer stuff going on. The other time, oh, you know, the other time was really sad because it was just before the, the Halloween event started. Or was it? Maybe it wasn't just before. No, I think it was just before the Halloween event started. No, it was just after the Halloween event finished. That was it. And I was like, no, oh, I missed out on all the cool Halloween memorabilia I could have got. I love a Halloween aesthetic and it's coming up again soon. Do so you know what that means? I don't know. <laughs> I need to, get me, need to get me a costume, clearly, in Animal Crossing. What would I go as? <laughs> if I could go as a deer, that'd be absolutely hilarious. But no, um, I don't know. Well, we'll decide when we get there. When we get more choices. Right now we've got like... We have like a witch outfit. A vampire outfit, which we've always had. And... A cat hat or something? I don't know. A cat and a hat. That would be a very scary gift. Not gift. Costume. I don't think I'm quite to that level of creativity. To um, cosplay as um, a media property or fictional character character if uh, the game doesn't directly give us those costumes. So yes, let's um, sell these sticks. Sticks and stones may break my bones. I'm not going to continue that because I just remembered what song I was singing. <laughs> Got to keep it on the DL, you know. Sing that in my own time. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to move on for that and we'll probably round off this episode after I've done selling these sticks. We did not get many acorns, only four acorns. Maybe I should have shook some more trees, huh? Should be enough though for most of the recipes, provided we can still get them. I don't know if we can. You know, I should do more recipe hunting. I should check our villagers' homes, see if we can get any. 
But for now, if you have been watching, thank you very much. This has been Animal Crossing New Horizons, and I've been Dear Darling. Any likes, comments, and subscriptions are greatly appreciated. And if you want to join with Dear Darling, just go down in the description below. I don't know why I said that so weirdly. I hope we can see each other again, but for now, it's half a well. So from both me and Rowan, I suppose. Until next time, bye-bye for now.